Buffalo Springfield, for what it's worth. All right. Uh, three different guitar parts in here. And uh, I'll just play through all of them real quick. And then I'll go through each section and give you some details. starters we get this uh, really recognizable part of the song where um, we're just going back and forth between a couple of uh, harmonics and uh, with this you want to have you know a little bit of gain on it and a little bit of tremolo and uh, I'll leave you a link in the description for tremolo pedals all the effects I use so you can check that out and uh, yeah just a light tremolo on this and um, basically this harmonic that happens in the intro it's one measure each Okay, and we're going to start it up here at the 12 of the E. Okay, so we just lightly rest our finger on top of the string here. And then just hit it, let it ring out with some tremolo there. Okay, just kind of want to get that right oscillation going, right tempo on it. All right, so we hit that. And then the next one, we do a measure's worth of 7 on the E. Okay. Right, and basically for the intro and the first verse, we're just going to be bouncing between those two. All right, so you could just repeat those at will. Okay, and the first guitar is just kind of a clean acoustic, and it's just going to play a couple of chords um, for the intro and the first verse and it's going to keep it pretty uh, uh, sparse initially uh, we're just going to kind of strum each one per measure all right and we'll start with a E chord and then simple enough just do that we go to a measure of A just repeat those two chords second guitar for the intro and the first verse and 
this guitar pretty much stays the same throughout uh, most of the song here, so we can just stick to this riff. And uh, the intro and a verse, uh, we're basically just going to be picking around here on the uh, bottom three strings here. We do an open E. Okay, we slide second to four on the A. Hit second on the D. Right, and from there, we're going to slide that four back down to two. And to start the next measure, hit open A. Right, and we just kind of repeat, uh, you know, the last half of the uh, first measure. Okay, slide up to two to four on the A, and then hit two on the D. Right, hold it a moment, and then slide four to two on the A. All right, and then we would just repeat the whole thing. All right, so uh, try it all together now for you. Okay, now we get into the chorus uh, with the first guitar, the acoustic there. And uh, it gets a little livelier now. Um, we're throwing some extra, extra chordage. So uh, we'll start with the E chord. Just uh, hit it a couple times. And now we switch to a D suspended second. So just like a normal D, but just keep the uh, middle finger off and the uh, high E open. And just give that a couple strums to finish out the measure. All right. In the second measure, we'll be uh, playing around with some A chords here. Uh, hit a normal A first. Okay, then we're going to hit a couple of A suspended fours, which basically we just keep that same A shape. Just add the three on the B now. And just do a couple strums here. All right, and then finish with an A7. So just a normal A, but then keep the D string open. And just kind of give that quick strum before that measures out. Something like that. Okay. So uh, try this progression up to tempo now. And for that third guitar uh, that was doing the harmonics in the intro and the verse, it's essentially in this first chorus going to do the same thing, but it just uh, double times it. Okay, so instead of doing each one a measure, we're going to do them both in one measure. Okay, so uh, we'll just be bouncing between the two, 12 to the 7, and then just repeat that as a measure. So it'd be something like this. All right, and as far as the second guitar goes for the choruses, uh, it's going to throw in this bit where we hit an open E, then an open D. And then we do this cool little like walk-up scale. Uh, we'll slide 1 to 2 on the A, hit 2D, two 2G. Two okay. And then we come up here, slide that 1 to 2 again on the A, open D, and then do 2, 1 on the A. Right, this is kind of cool little walking thing that happens there. So uh, let's put this up to tempo now. Okay, and once we get into the second, third, and last verse here, the first guitar, uh, it can get a little livelier now. Um, where we're going to throw in, you know, a little bit of those A variants towards the end. But we'll just stick with the E right up front. So we're going to be more like we'll hit it once, do a quick uh, up, down, up, down strum. So something like, something like that. That type of vibe. And then the second measure, we get into that A. Uh, we hit the normal A. It's kind of like the end of the chorus for this guitar. All right, and then we do a... Uh, down, up, down, up on the A suspended 4. Okay, so we just add that 3 on the B. And then just finish on an A7. Right. So, uh, you know, like I said, this later verses now, that guitar can get a little busier. All right, and let's hear it sounds uh, up to speed now. Once 
once we get into the uh, second chorus, third chorus, last chorus, um, that third guitar that's doing the harmonics gets a little busier now, and it just kind of does some uh, soloing, basically. Um, we get into the second chorus, and it'll start doing this cool scale. Uh, we're we're going to be over here in this little area. We'll, uh, we'll do open to two on the B, hammer on, hit four on the E. Okay. And then from there, we're going to do two open on the E to three B. This descending scale, two open B, two open G, and then do uh, about three bends on the G on the second. Okay. So uh, now this uh, chorus part all together for guitar three. Okay, and after the second chorus, we get into some uh, solo action here, and it starts kind of like. Uh, the same bit we do in the chorus. Okay, we're gonna go open 2B to 4E. Do that twice. Okay, hit open B, and then hit second B, open E. Hold it a moment. Slide up to 5B, hit 3E, and then bend 5E. Okay, hold that bend into the next measure. Right, and then we kind of start the next chunk, which has you know the same beginning as the first one. Right, but now we just end it different. We do two B, open E, and then do uh, bend on the second of the E, bend it again and release it. Right, hit open E. Okay, so let's just try this first part of this all together now. Okay, we get into the second solo, uh, Guitar 3, after the following chorus. And uh, it switches it up a little bit. We're just going to do a little more bending and bouncing around here in the 5 and 3 areas of the B and E. Okay, so slide up to 5 of the B, hit 3 E, bend the 5 E. Okay, hold that a moment. Hit the 5 again while it's bent. Okay, hit it and then release it. Okay, come up to 3 E, and then uh, pull off 5 to 3. 5B, and then go back and forth from the 3E, 5B. Right, and then we finish with this uh, funky little uh, scale down here where we go uh, 3 to 5B, back to 3, hit 1 on the B to open. And kind of a weird little way to finish it, but that's the way it goes. All right, so... Uh, uh, let's try this all together. All right, now we get some fun little bits that come in during the last verse. Uh, it's like at that uh, lyric paranoia. So we get this cool, you know, paranoid sounding little bend. So we just bend second on the G. And then we just trim pick it a bit while it's bent. So it'd be like. And then just give it a slow release. All right. And the next bit, we're just kind of doing some uh, kind of staccato hammer ons from open to two on the D. You know, just about three of them or so. Something like that. Open to two there. finish that with uh, kind of a similar uh, second solo bit. All right, slide up five to B, hit three E, and then do some bending on the five of the E, and do some uh, trim picking while bending that. Okay, so uh, now we can hear how this uh, last verse sounds. Let's try this. chorus, 
process, uh, we can kind of cut loose a even more now with the soloing. Um, the first time through the chorus, it'll just do the same riff that it always does. Okay, the okay, something like that, and uh, then we can start switching it up a bit as we progress through the uh, the chorus even more here. So. We do a similar start to it, the open to 2B, 4E, 2 open E to 2B. Right, but now we can do like 5, 3E to 5B. Okay, come back 3E and then hit uh, 5 on the E with the bends, three of them. Okay, something like that. So we're like. And then from there, we can bring it up to a new position, all right? Same notes, but like a easier position to hit because we're adding in this uh, 10 on the E now. And uh, just give it a couple bends. Bend, release. Okay, and then bend the 10 B, release. Okay, and then we can give some uh, bends on that 10 still, like uh, give it Give it one, bend it three more times, come off to the eight, and then nine on the G. Something like that. All right, and then just kind of sticking in that same spot there. Uh, bend 10 B, release it, come off to eight. Okay, one more time. And nine on the G. Okay, so just that type of feel, type of vibe. Uh, Let's try this uh, all up to tempo now. All right, continuing with the soloing in the end there. Uh, just sticking with some more of those uh, 10 bends on the B, couple of them. Okay, do a couple 10 bends on the E now. All right, now we bring it way up high and kind of do uh, basically what we were doing down here with the 5 and 3, but just up at the next octave. Okay, so sliding up to 17 on the B, 15 E, 17 E, give it some bends. And uh, come off of it, go 17, 15, E, 17, B. Right, now go back, back up, basically. Go 15, 17, B, 15, E. And then just give some bends on that 17 of the E. Back off, 17 to 15 of the E. And then 17 on the B. Okay, and at this point, the song's fading out, so you can call it good there or you can just you know keep playing around in that area or go back to wherever you want there uh, so let's just uh, try this all the way up to uh, the fade out now thanks for checking out the video everybody like it share it leave a comment it's always good to hear from you um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.